Dragon is in countdown. Falcon 9 is in startup. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. For about one month, being one of two Dragons joining Crew Dragon Endurance before being packed up with critical science. SpaceX is targeting Tuesday, December 21st for Falcon 9's launch of its 24th Commercial Resupply Services, CRS-24, mission to the International Space Station. SpaceX's 24th contracted cargo resupply mission with NASA to the International Space Station will deliver more than 6,500 pounds of science, research, crew supplies, and vehicle hardware to the Orbital Laboratory and its crew. This is the fourth mission under SpaceX's Commercial Resupply Services 2 CRS contract with NASA. Liftoff is targeted for 5.06 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Seconds, uh, that's referred to as the engine wiggle test, a fairly self-explanatory name. Uh, this is where SpaceX will move the thruster nozzle, no the thrust nozzles. Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The Dragons you know, this seconds. mission previously supported CRS-22. Approximately 12 minutes after liftoff, Dragon will separate from Falcon 9's second stage and autonomously dock to the space station on Wednesday, December 22nd at approximately 4.38 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9.38 Coordinated 10, Universal Time. 9, 8, NASA astronauts 7, Raja Chari and Thomas Marshburn 5, will monitor the spacecraft's 4, 3, arrival, 3, 2, which will stay aboard 1, the orbiting 0, laboratory for about ignition. one month before splashing down over the Cargo Dragon soars with the final supply run in 2021 to the astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Session. Uh, first up is main engine cutoff, also known as MIGO, the engine chill followed started. by stage separation, and then second engine start, also known as SES-1. Main engine cutoff is where all nine engines on the first stage will shut off in preparation for the second event, stage separation. Uh, during stage separation, the first and second stages will yeah, separate from one another. The first stage entry. makes its way back to the drone ship for a landing attempt, and the second stage will ignite its Merlin vacuum engine and continue to boost Dragon to low Earth orbit. Stage separation confirmed. In recognition. You heard the call-outs, we see it on screen. Successful main engine cutoff, followed by successful stage separation and then ignition of our Merlin vacuum engine. On the left-hand side of the screen, the first stage, again, it's making its way back to Earth, but it's still being illuminated by the second stage Merlin vacuum engine there. So if you are just joining us, you're watching a live webcast for the 24th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station for NASA. This is SpaceX's 31st mission for 2021 and the fifth Dragon flight to the International Space Station this year. A couple of views on the screen. The right-hand side of the screen is a view of the Merlin vacuum engine uh, on the second stage, the Dragon capsule uh, uh, carrying all of the wonderful uh, holiday treats and science is on the opposite end of that engine. Again, that is continuing to run smoothly as it makes its way to orbit. On the left-hand side of the screen is the first stage. You'll notice some uh, honeycomb-like structures. There's two of them on screen right now. Those are our um, uh, hypersonic grid fins. They're positioned at the top of the first stage booster. There are four of them, actually, uh, and those will start to um, uh, swivel and move around to make sure that they are guiding the first stage back uh, to its targeted landing zone. Uh, for, t for today's mission, it's going to be the drone ship Just Read the Instruction, which is parked in the Atlantic Ocean. So again, this is a view of the Merlin vacuum engine. The Dragon capsule with all of its supplies is on the opposite end of that uh, engine. Uh, we'll modify the vehicles um, slightly for these types of missions. So uh, there are no seats, there are no life support systems. This saves uh, weight. It also frees up some space for more cargo. And it also allows us to refurbish the Dragon a little bit quicker once it uh, splashes back down uh, to Earth. Uh, in 
back here. Happy in the, Happy to be here. Thank you. Back here in the International Space Station flight control room, flight controllers are monitoring the systems on the station itself ahead of Dragon's arrival Wednesday morning. Once Dragon crosses, crosses that approach ellipsoid, which is that mythical sphere around the station, flight controllers here in Mission Control Houston will begin joint operations with the SpaceX teams in Hawthorne, California. NASA astronauts Rasha Chari and Tom Marshburn will be monitoring the approach and arrival of Dragon with a planned docking Wednesday morning at 3.30 a.m. Central Time, 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time.